ladies and gentlemen, the curse that we have had bestowed upon Dale the truck is over. I repeat, the curse is over. You see, I've never claimed to be that bright. I've always said that I'm not a professional and sometimes I overlook the obvious trying to find the worst. Case in point, Dale the truck has been giving us issues we thought was carburetor related. Now, not that I don't have faith in the Edelbrock carburetor because I've been using it for years and so has my dad, but it's an older carburetor. It's 12 years old. It's only been torn apart once to be cleaned. And we were trying to find out what was wrong with the bad idle or the erratic idle, which was intermittent, mind you, on Dale the truck. So what we did was we rebuilt a Quadrajet carburetor. And I will put that video link right here. In attempts to swap out the carburetors to find out if the Edelbrock was bad and if the problem persisted with the Quadrajet, we figured that's the way we were gonna solve this issue. Well, as you can see, the Quadrajet is still in the box on the floor of the truck. And the Edelbrock is still on the engine. So let's take a minute and show you the problems that we were experiencing that way you know exactly what I'm talking about. So as you can see right now, we've pretty much got a perfect idle at about 850, 900 RPM. But that wasn't always the case. Some mornings I would come out and I would start it and well, it would do this. And it would idle around 600 and when I pulled up to a stop sign or go through a drive-thru it would sit and chug and choke and feel like it was almost gonna stall and of course with that lumpy cam in there it would just continually uh, rock the truck and uh, to the point where you were kind of satisfied that you had that lumpy of a cam that that's what it would do for you but at the same token it was so intermittent and erratic, you never knew when it was gonna do it. Until yesterday, when I realized this. That every time the AC engaged, the clutch engaged, well, it was drawing so much out of that engine that it was idling it down by about 300 RPM. Now, I'm not stupid that far that I don't think that the AC is gonna draw on the engine. I just didn't think it was drawing that much. I pretty much eliminated it. And the reason why it was intermittent, well, simply put, I never always had the AC on in the morning. So some mornings you would come out and it would be cold. It would be like 50 degrees, so the AC was off. You'd turn the heater on, start the truck. It would start right up with the choke no problems at all it would idle fine going up the hill at the campground get on the highway same thing and it always worked good on the highway because it was under such rpm anyway that it didn't really notice it and then there was mornings or days that i would come out after work get in the truck first thing i would do is flip that switch to the ac's maximum position start that truck and it would choke and it would idle bad and it would want to stall and it was just awful so so I don't, I don't think there was a curse at all. I think it was just a little bit of me not paying attention to the obvious. So as it sits right now, I think that we've got Dale working pretty much 100%. When the AC is off, it idles just like it is right now at about 850, which is exactly where we want it. And then when that AC kicks on, it does draw on the motor when it's idling. So what I've learned to do is that when I go through a drive through or if I'm sitting at a stoplight for too long, I just reach down and flick that switch of the AC to the off position. So now that begs the question, what are we gonna do with the Quadrajet? Well, 
I don't think this is the end of the story for that Quadrajet. You see, I still want to put it on this truck. And we're going to do a comparison to see which carburetor works better, sounds better, and is a little bit easier to tune, the Quadrajet or the Edelbrock. So we're not going to do that in this video, but we will be swapping it out very, very soon because I had to wait for an adapter to fit the square bore intake that I have for this spread bore. But that is it, guys. We've got this problem solved. We know what the issue is. I can reach down right now, click that AC off, the truck idles, perfect. So the only other small thing that we're dealing with right now is that when the AC is on and I go to shut the truck off, it shuts off. When it is idling higher at that 850 to 900 RPM and I shut the truck off, it does want to run on. So the AC just shut off. Let me shut the truck off and I'll show you what. See, it is running on just a little bit. Sometimes it runs longer than others. So in the previous comments, I've read that uh, some people are telling me that it's possible I don't have the right spark plugs in there. The spark plugs that I put in this engine when I rebuilt it are just a stock number. And I've got to do a little bit of research to find out which ones I should be running in there with a slightly modified engine over stock and uh, see if that's going to help us with the run on issue. So thanks to uh, this guy's garage who made that comment, Sean, down there in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia had mentioned that uh, that's a possibility that I've got the wrong plugs and uh, that, that could be causing my run on. So I've got to do a little research on that and see what we should be running. Other than that, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thanks for sticking around, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed our special guest on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show last Thursday evening. And if you wanna see that episode, you can go right over here and watch it. It won't be live, but it will be very entertaining. Also, that episode can be caught at the link in the description box below for our podcast. Yes, that's right, we are a podcast now for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. So you can catch us on your way to work or on your way home or when you just have a half an hour to spare. And last but not least, I'm still looking for your submit your ride videos. You can give me a two minute video on the ride of your choice, something that you are proud of, that you want to show off to the YouTube world and I will highlight it in an upcoming video. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.